Now, when laughter is shared, it binds people together and increases happiness. And that is exactly what an East Texas hospital wanted to do for some breast cancer survivors today. That one day retreat educates breast cancer survivors about exercise and a healthy diet and about laughter as medicine. East Texas News' Jamie Boyum introduces us to a breast cancer survivor as she is introduced to laughter yoga. Everyone enjoys a good laugh, and as it turns out, laughing is good for pretty much everyone. Patty Evans is a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed almost five years ago. I was very fortunate. I didn't have to have uh, radiation or chemo, but I did have both breasts removed. Five years down the road, I'm doing great. Patty believes they've saved the best for last at this retreat, laughter yoga. It sounds a little dangerous. Laughing with your foot behind your head? Yeah, but it's not like that. Shaka Steven teaches it and explains it started in India with fake laughter. You know, like when a friend tells a joke and you don't really think it's funny. You give them a complimentary laugh. You know, you go, <laughs> <laughs> Steven says even fake laughter can make your body think you're having a good time. He teaches a little chant and clap at first. <laughs> and then he turns it up a notch. <laughs> fake laughter turns real. And so do the health benefits like working muscles and blood oxygenation. I've always believed laughter is the best medicine, so this is just confirmation. Eventually, I figured I'd better try it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Jamie Boyum. KLTV 7 News. Clinical research in India and the U.S. has shown laughter lowers not only stress levels, but also blood pressure. It also boosts the immune system and relaxes your entire body.